The contrast between a theologically transcendent God and an eminently hard-working God produces an unnecessary tension in our minds. Is our theology about God's transcendence wrong? Has God misrepresented himself in Scripture? These are not the key questions. The key questions are, are our ideas about work biblically correct? What is a theologically sound definition of work? Now, some authors, Mircea Volf to be specific, spends a lot of time trying to develop a theologically intense definition of work. In his book, Work in the Spirit, he spends an entire chapter on trying to develop a definition of work and comes up with a definition that is basically a paragraph long. We are not going to do that. We need a definition that is much more usable, much more approachable. We're going to come up with a much simpler definition than what is seen in some of the theological expositions of work. God works. Our definition of work must be based on the knowledge that God is a working God. Although there are some aspects of human work that are distinctly different from God's. So to get past our assumptions, I'll propose a basic usable definition of work. Work is the intentional use of a person's energy to accomplish a specific change. Work is the intentional use of a person's energy to accomplish a specific change. There are four key ideas within that de definition. Personal. Work is done by persons. Persons. This does not just mean humans because persons are is a larger word than humans. Um, person is a broader than just a synonym for the word human. God, for example, would be a person. The Trinity has three persons. Angels and demons would be considered persons. Persons do works. Things do not. Work has to be intentional. Intentional is the second key word. Work is done based on a previous decision of the will. Work cannot happen by accident or at random. It has to be the process of a thoughtful intention. This is why work must be done by persons. Only persons have the ability to use their will to intentionally decide to do work. Energy. Work requires that a person intentionally spend energy. We have to use some of the resources available to us to accomplish a task. This energy may come in several different forms. It can be mental energy, physical energy, emotional, and or spiritual energy. But we must expend energy in order to accomplish work. This is where human work and God work differ. Humans have a limited amount of energy available to them, so when they expend it, they feel that expenditure. Whereas God has unlimited resources, unlimited energy, so when God expends energy to work, it doesn't deplete or diminish how much energy God has left. The last key word is change. Work must accomplish a change. And that change has to be an intentional change. We have to want to make a change. The person has to intend to make a change, and the person actually has to accomplish the change. However, the changes need not be, the intended change and the accomplished change need not be the same thing. This makes work different than a hobby. A hobby is something you do for the pleasure of doing it. Work is something you do because the change you intend to do is important. You are intending to accomplish an important, necessary change, not just going through the process of doing something. Work is, the change is the ends that justify 
the work you do, the expenditure of the energy. So with that, the definition of work is, work is the intentional use of a person's energy to accomplish a specific change.